Hi, I'm Peter. I work for a company called 6TL Engineering, you can see on the booth. Um, I'm a business development manager and we are here uh, at NI Week to present you our Fast ATE technology. Um, our Fast ATE technology is a modular concept that enables engineers to build up their test systems in a very efficient and fast way. We created a number, a large number of building blocks, as you can see on the wall behind me, to create any type of test systems. So if we talk about an inline test system, as you see there, the building blocks are transport belt, pusher, lift, pusher system, lifter system, uh, a controller, and all these building blocks are independent uh, modules. The modules all come with their lab view drivers, uh, they communicate and, and, and are connected to each other with uh, through CANVAS, so it's an easy way of connecting all these modules together. It makes easy wiring, it makes clean wiring inside your test system, and it makes the system extremely flexible. In all our test systems, we use typically a mass interconnect. And in most of our test systems, we like to use the Virginia Panel mass interconnect system. Here you see an example. If you introduce a mass interconnect into a test system, the disadvantage, in our opinion, is that you add cabling between the mass interconnect interface and the instrumentation. By um, eliminating as much as possible these cables, you um, make the, the entire process of uh, designing your, uh, your test system a, a lot easier, less complicated. I mean, the manuals, everything, the wiring diagrams, the, the fault finding, is done in a much easier and more common and, and, and easy way. So we come up, came up with a number of modules that fit directly into the Virginia panel interface. So removing all the cables that you typically need. And typically with switching, you save a lot of these cables, uh, saving you a lot of effort in errors that you might have due to the long cable between the measurement instrument and the unit on the test. Um, an example of, um, of one of our modules I have over here. It has the master to connect on the front. It's a special board. Uh, it's a switch, but it's a humidic switch. We typically use these, these type of instruments directly in the interface, and you see it over here, to control push buttons and uh, humidic valves, uh, sorry, humidic um, pistons, to press automatically push buttons during test. So to prevent you as an engineer to go through a catalog and find all these little uh, parts uh, separately, you just insert this into your mass interconnect and you're done. It has a pressure sensor, it has a CAN bus to communicate and it has lab view drivers to integrate into your software. Very, very easy to do. Uh, one of our solutions uh, you see here, this is the smallest one we have. It's called a 60L08. It's set up as a base PCB tester in this case. A PCB tester means you need a bed of needles, spring-loaded probes to make the contact between the PCB and the unit under test. Oh, sorry, and the instrumentation, the measurement instrumentation. As you need a PCB for every, as, as you need a test adapter for every. PCB that you want to test, you want to keep these parts as low cost as possible. So we created a cassette system that can easily be adapted to your PCB. So for every PCB you get this unique uh, cassette, you have to manufacture this. Same with the pusher plate which comes with the PCB, uh, with the cassette. As we use canvas in front of the mass interconnect interface, we also have the canvas inside our test fixture units, meaning that it is very easy to extend our modules inside the test fixture. For instance, for RF switching, which you like to do very close to the uh, unit on the test. Um, in this case, we have an identification board that controls uh, the identification of the fixture. It has two inputs to count cycles, so you can, for instance, uh, measure the amount of tests that you have done to incorporate uh, a maintenance routine or something like that. Uh, it stores information of the PCB, the width of the PCB for instance. So if you use this cassette inside our inline system, it knows automatically the width of the, test of the PCB 
so it can adjust automatically the width of the transport belt. This cassette is inserted in our test system. The test system again has a Virginia panel style interface and in this case we use the NI virtual bench to create a PCB test station. We have options to incorporate uh, a PXI rack in the same system as well. And the way we start testing is engaging, putting the, the cassette in there, engage the interface, close a linear pushing system. It's important to push the PCB linearly onto the bed of needles, close it, and then normally it would run the test program. We have a keyboard if you need to input all kinds of information in the, in the test system. Control, start, stop buttons, emergency stop, everything is here. If you have a PC, uh, PC, PXI rack in here, we have access from the side, so you can easily, uh, for calibration, have access to the, to, the, to the boards, to the PXI instrumentation. Sequence, you take the PCB out, put it in the green bag if it is passed, in the red one if it is not, put an XPCB close and test again. This system comes in two sizes. We have a double width system as well. It's called the 60L08 wide. It's compatible with the cassettes of the standard 60L, as you see here, and can also handle wide boards, bigger boards, or multiple boards. So you see it's a very open and flexible system. Uh, if you need more space for instrumentation, it's very easy to extend with an in, a rack underneath or a rack behind. It's a very flexible system. I hope you got the idea. If you do not got the idea 100%, please visit our website www.60lengineering.com and thank you for watching.